hey guys welcome back to my channel today in the kitchen we're going to be cooking some corn on the cob or boiled corn so to start off we have the ingredients over here two cloves of garlic four stems of thyme five leaf thyme some scallion over here and we have some hot pepper chopped up over here we have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one tablespoon of parsley. And we're gonna be using some coconut milk for this. This is one and a half cups of coconut milk. And we have some corn over here. I have six corn on the cob. Now, I'm not gonna be putting this corn whole this size into the pot I'm going to be cutting them in half because there's not enough space in the pot for them to fit at full length all right guys so first we're going to begin with our coconut milk you're just going to pour that into the pot just like that then we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients and allow it to mix into the coconut milk so we add the hot peppers the scallion fine leaf thyme and the garlic We're also going to go ahead and add the parsley. This is one tablespoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Go ahead and mix that in. I do have the fire on medium heat. We're also going to go ahead and add one cup of water to this mixture that's on the fire right now. Okay guys, so that's one cup of water. Okay, we'll, we're going to allow that to be on the heat for a couple minutes while I chop the corn into pieces and we'll be right back all right guys so it's been about two minutes since i've put the ingredients on the heat i've went ahead and chopped the corn into pieces and now we're gonna go ahead and add the corn to the mixture that's on the stove now i'm gonna go ahead and add one more cup of water so that there's enough liquid in there to cook every all the corn that's inside there Now guys, you do want to make sure that the corn is submerged in there as much as you can. We're going to cover the lid, cover the pot, put the lid onto the pot and allow this to come to a boil. Then I'll check back in with you guys. All right guys, so here we are. Our corn is starting to boil. You want to make sure that you're still on medium heat. And from this point forward, we're going to keep the lid off of the pot. Now, because all of my corn was not fully submerged, I'm gonna continue reorienting re this corn to make sure that everything gets its adequate share of cooking. So I'm just gonna move them around a little to make sure that they all cook evenly. So it's been about 15 to 20 minutes so far. I'm gonna leave it on for another 10 minutes after all of the milk has boiled down a little more and it has thickened up okay guys all right guys so here we go we're just about finished with our corn here the regular cook time is about 15 to 20 minutes but i did keep mines on for about 30 minutes just because 
all the corn was not fully submerged so I needed that extra time in order to make sure that everything was properly cooked but we're just about getting done here I'm gonna dish this out let you guys see the complete final product but for now this is where we're gonna end the video thank you for watching